Hi and welcome to the second uh, weird episode on my do-it-yourself airboat. Today it's all about the motor mount and the rudder installation I did so far. Let's start with the motor stand itself. This part is made of 1.5 mm carbon. It's just cut with the Dremel and sanded into the right shape. Drilled some holes for the motor mount itself. And connection to the foam is made with wool pore glue. This works pretty well for bigger surfaces to glue together. And here you have a really nice big surface to glue these two parts together. Like this, the mount uh, sits really strong. The shape which looks to the front here is just because of the thrust of the motor which pushes the whole mount forward and I think with this shape there is enough strength and good connection to the foam to carry all the thrust which comes from the motor. The second part are the rudders. These are 1.0 mm carbon plates. To connect it to the motor stand I first wanted to do the hinges also with Uhu pore. A lot of people use Uhu pore to make hinges for RC plane rudders and I tried the same solution on these rudders here but the finish wasn't okay. I think it wasn't strong enough so I removed the whole glue and replaced it with simple scotch crystal tape which I uh, put on on both sides of each rudder. Like this it looks pretty clean. The angle I can go for is at least 45 or even more degrees. So I think this will work well to turn the boat on a small spot on the water. To connect it to the servo I use the regular uh, rudder horn and to connect the two rudders you just want to use one servo so you have to connect the two rudders to move both uh, rudders with only one servo. I simply used also some link hardware to connect the servo to your airplane rudders and just put them on one on both rudders and connect them with one millimeter steel rod which I simply bent and like this it sits perfectly and stays in place. There is just a little bit of play but it works pretty nice and I think the solution will work okay like this. The motor mount itself it's also made out of 1.0 millimeter carbon. The aluminum is 1.5 millimeter aluminum which I simply bent to 90 degrees, drilled all the holes I need for mounting it for connecting the motor mount to the motor stand. The hardware you can see here, the screw hardware, is all aluminum hardware. This is pretty lightweight and I just did a short check. Uh, the whole boat, like you can see it here, is only 87 grams. The boat is around 31 centimeters long without rudders. And I think for a size like this, it's a nice uh, lightweight construction. I polished all the screw heads just to make the whole finish a bit nicer. Also the nut of the prop, everything is polished so it gives it a nice finish look. Then the propeller itself, this is a HQ5045 race drone prop. It was light blue color which looked pretty nasty on the airboat so I decided to paint it. For painting I first sanded it and then used some duplicolor platinum paint. It's a matte black color which is RAW 9005. This color gives it a nice matte finish and the color also sticks pretty well on any plastic surface. So this was just a short update about the build progress of the boat. The next part will be to install all the electronics, the servo, ESC, step-down regulator, RC receiver and also the modification to make the servo as waterproof as possible. This will be the next video about this build. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye.